friends, it's Lisa, and today I'm going to be doing a little celebratory 24 hour readathon. I am so excited. I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've done a 24 hour readathon. I love doing them. So I thought to celebrate four years on BookTube, I could do a 24 hour readathon. Yeah, four years on BookTube. Doesn't seem quite right. <laughs> June 26th is my four year BookTube and also Bookstagram anniversary, which is just really exciting. It's very weird. I think I honestly say this every year around this time of year that like this feels so new still, but at the same time, it feels like it's been a part of my life for so long. Like I can't imagine not doing this, not filming, not talking about books, not sharing my thoughts with you all, not having the friends that I've made through this community. Like I just feel so lucky to have been able to be doing this for so long and like the people I've met and everything. And I just thought it would be fun to celebrate that way. And I don't know, I'm just, I'm really excited. Again, haven't done a 24 hour readathon in a while. So I'm very excited about it. But with a 24 hour readathon means there's books I gotta read. And sometimes I go into 24 hour readathons with a plan. I have like a whole list of books I wanna read and I don't even get through half of them. And then some other times I just kind of go into it and go, well, we'll see what happens. That's the approach we're going to have today. <laughs> but I know for sure I'm going to be starting the readathon off with my current read, which is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. I am absolutely loving this book so far. I feel like I'm in the camp of people who are like acknowledging it's not the most perfect book. You know, there are problems but I'm having such a great time. You have Violet as the main character who's training to become this dragon rider and the dragon riders are used within like the military within this world and there is this war that's kind of happening outside the borders of their land. There are people who are having issues with the trading agreements so there are these wars happening and Violet is training to become a dragon rider to help defend like the wards and everything and defend her place and her people in this war. But Violet's mom is also the commanding general, which means that her mom as well as Violet kind of have some enemies. And there are some of those people within the dragon riders, these people training. One of them is this guy named Zayden, who is this dragon rider who's like really powerful and very scary, but he's also attractive. So you know where that's going. <laughs> so yeah, this is like a new adult fantasy romance. There's a war going on. There's a little bit of romance. I think the people like in power, the people who are kind of leading this military are not always being truthful about what is actually happening and I'm just so excited to see where this book goes. Like I said, I'm really enjoying it. I also saw that this is like the first book in what's going to be a five book series which I did not realize there was going to be so many books. So that just makes me very excited. <laughs> but yeah, this book is currently everywhere at the moment. So you're probably sick of hearing about it, but I am going to join, I think, the people in loving this book. Like I'm having a great time. And according to my Kindle, I am exactly 50% of the way through this book. I'm on chapter 22 and there are 39 chapters in total. So I'm on chapter 22 of 39. 50% of the way through and this is going to be what I start the readathon off with and hopefully finishing. And then as always with 24 hour readathons, I love having an audiobook going at the same time and I currently am listening to something already. I am listening to Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross, another Rebecca, <laughs> and I'm 54% of the way through that audiobook. So I'm halfway through both of my current reads so I'm hopeful that I can maybe finish them. Divine Rivals is a like fantasy, historical fantasy romance kind of thing. We have these two characters, Iris and Roman, who are rivals at this paper that they both work at. They both want the same columnist position. So they're competing to get promoted and Iris like desperately needs that promotion. She needs to make more money because she's trying to provide for her family. Her brother is off fighting in this war that is between the gods, but the humans are involved and fighting on certain sides. And eventually Iris kind of goes out seeking her brother and seeing if she can find him. And I am really enjoying this as well. I'm just having the best time with my current reads. <laughs> they're both very different, but I'm loving both of them so much and I like I said I love having an audiobook for 24 hour readathon during the times where I don't want to be like physically reading or can't be if I need to take a break for any reason and because the summer has officially started I kind of want to do like a summer activity even though it's literally going to be raining for like the next week and forever I think it's been raining so much this month and I really hope this isn't the trend for the rest of summer <laughs> but I'm thinking of doing a little summer craft and during that I can maybe listen to a bit of my audiobook I have this string that I bought from Michaels recently I think this is technically embroidery floss. I want to make some like friendship bracelets or like I really specifically want an anklet to wear during the summer. I don't know why I have that in my mind. I think my sister did that last year and that's why I'm like oh 
I should do that. <laughs> but yeah, this could be a fun thing for me to do if I want to take a break from reading and just like actually do something other than just sit and stare at a screen or at a page. So that might be my fun little summer activity and we can listen to my audiobook while I do that. But other than that, I have no clue what I'm gonna read. <laughs> I mean, I definitely have some options. I did just also make a summer TBR, so I know there's some things on there that I could pick up and just like other things in general. I was looking through some like comics and graphic novels on Hoopla that I might wanna pick up. So I have some ideas, but I'm not entirely sure of where this readathon is gonna go. So that'll be fun for us to go on the journey together and see what I end up picking up. So it is currently 12.35 and I'm thinking I haven't had lunch yet and I want to have some time to like chill before the 24-hour readathon starts. So I'm thinking I'm going to start this 24-hour readathon at 2 o'clock. We will go until 2 tomorrow. And yeah, we will see what I get up to and what I end up reading because right now we don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. So it'll be a fun thing to go on together. We'll see what happens. And I'm excited to continue on with Fourth Wing and Divine Rivals, do some summer activities, even though it's probably going to be raining all day today. It's fine. We will manifest summer with my anklet bracelet. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna go have some lunch, chill, and then I will check back in at two o'clock when the readathon begins. into the readathon. It's 321 and I think I've read, well, I've read about 9%, almost 10%. I've read like 60 pages and I forget sometimes that like fantasy does take me a little bit longer to read. I think because I've been reading so much like romance and contemporary recently that I kind of forget that fantasy does take me a little bit longer. <laughs> so I'm like, why is it taking me so long? And I kind of have been feeling that way with this book the whole time, just because I'm so like not used to reading fantasy anymore, which is so weird. But I definitely feel like I'm getting back into my fantasy mood, perhaps. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, it's still going well. I have like math, <laughs> like 250 <laughs> pages, I think, left of the book. So I don't know. I feel like this is going to take most of the readathon but I would love to finish it before going to bed tonight, so we'll see. I may get the audiobook to listen to while I read along with the ebook to see if that goes a little bit faster. I also have a cat on my lap, so that's not helping. He's really convincing me to fall asleep. Like, I'm sitting here and I'm trying really hard to stay awake, so that's not great either. <laughs> but yeah, still really enjoying the book. I feel like where I'm at right now, the romance has kind of started to pick up a little bit, so I'm excited to see that continue. Yeah, just wanted to do a quick little check-in but I think I might need to take a lap, walk around a little bit to wake myself up and then get back to reading. But getting up does mean disturbing the cat, which I really don't want to do. <laughs> He's being so cute. How can I disturb him? But also I can't fall asleep. We're an hour and a half into this 24 hour readathon. I can't sleep already. <laughs> okay, some last minute plans have been made tonight for dinner. So what I'm thinking, that's probably going to be like a couple hours that we're out. It's starting to get nice out. And I think, like I was saying, it's going to rain forever after today. So want to take advantage, going out, eating outside, having some drinks, you know. I think there's music bingo where we're going tonight, so that'll be fun. That'll probably take a couple hours out of the 24-hour readathon, so I might just kind of stamp those on at the end, add a couple extra hours or however long we're out tonight at the end of the readathon so that I can still get the full 24 hours, you know. So yeah, I think I'm going to get ready to go out tonight put on my audiobook. I might start listening to a bit of Divine Rivals while I get ready. And then once I get home from dinner, we'll get back into the 24 hour readathon. And I'll just add however long I'm gone to the end of the readathon. There we go. <laughs> Period. 
right, it is now 8.09, almost 8.10. Uh, we just got home from dinner. There was a music bingo thing. We had some wine. It was really, really fun. But I think we left, it was like 5.40, so almost exactly two and a half hours ago. So I think at the end of this readathon, I'm just gonna add on two and a half hours because obviously like I wasn't reading while I was at dinner and this was a very like spontaneous last minute thing. So instead of ending at two tomorrow, I will end at 4.30, which I need to remember that because I feel like pea brain might forget and try and end the readathon at two, but I need to remember. 4.30. <laughs> and I did do some reading like while I was getting ready and before we left, so I'm now 61% of the way through Divine Rivals and... Seventy percent of the way through Fourth Wing, so I'm on chapter 29. So I think I'm gonna get into my pajamas, get comfy. I might even do like my skincare at this point and just like get completely ready for bed, and then I can just spend the rest of the night reading. I would love to finish Fourth Wing before I go to sleep. I just don't know if that's possible, but yeah, that's where we're at. I'm gonna get comfy, get ready for bed, do my skincare, and then get back to reading. because it's 12.03 and also there's a fan going so sorry but I just finished fourth wing there were a couple of things I definitely predicted throughout the book but it was just so fun like I'm totally with everyone it's not the best book ever but it is so fun and I'm so excited that this is like a multi-book series. I don't know. I tried to look up if the like five book series thing was real. I only saw that she was offered a three book deal. So I'm not really sure how many books there's going to be in the series, but I'm going to be reading them. <laughs> I literally just finished it though a couple of minutes ago. So I don't really have a rating or my thoughts overall really together so we'll come back to that tomorrow but I really liked it like I'm thinking it's probably gonna be like a 4.5 but that seems like something for Lisa who's more awake tomorrow to figure out <laughs> but yeah it's a little after 12 so I'm kind of thinking that I might just listen to Divine Rivals for a little while before going to sleep because I just don't know if I want to start something now that it's so late and I'm tired and I just don't want to like have to get familiar with characters and things at this point in the night so I think I'm just gonna put on Divine Rivals and listen to that and just kind of chill and then slowly fall asleep. And then tomorrow we'll start something else and I actually, I don't know, I think I may know what I want to pick up and I need to go and grab it. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe since you've been gone by Morgan Matson because I think, I mean it's not super short it's almost, I don't know, it's over 400 pages long. Where's the end of this book? 449 pages. So this is not like a small 
YA Contemporary, but I think it will go quickly. And I keep putting Morgan Matson's books on my TBR, and I'm just never reading them. So it feels like this is a good opportunity to at least start one. I also was thinking about maybe reading Saga Volume 10 as well tomorrow because I still haven't read that even though the way volume 9 ended years ago had me on the floor and they finally have come back from their hiatus with writing saga and I still haven't read volume 10 so I might do that just to switch it up and then maybe start this but I also know that there are some other books on like Scribd and Hoopla that I'm interested in reading so I may take a peruse but I think for now I'm gonna listen to Divine Rivals because I don't think I have the capacity right now to pick something out because I'm tired. <laughs> Obviously it's a bummer that it's not going two to two uh, with this 24-hour readathon, but I am excited that the readathon will end a little bit later on. I'll have more time to do some reading tomorrow, so that'll be good. And hopefully there won't be any more distractions that cause me to put the readathon off any longer. I don't think there will be. I think 4.30 will be when it ends. But yeah, fourth wing, great work. I understand why people don't like it. I had a great time. And low-key, like, I, my reading year has not been very good. So maybe it's just that I have no, like, standards, or maybe I have really high standards. I don't know what my problem is, but I just haven't been really enjoying anything. So it's nice to enjoy something and just have fun with reading. Like, sometimes I feel like I have to be so overly critical, and that was just fun. Anyway, I'm gonna go lay down now, put on my audiobook, and probably fall asleep very soon because at the later I stay up with 24 readathons, I end up not feeling well and I want to avoid that. So I think I'm going to go lay down, put on my audiobook for a little bit and just chill and then fall asleep. And I will check back in in the morning. It is now the next morning. It's actually almost the afternoon. It is 11.18 right now. So I, now that I've extended the readathon a little bit because of me being out at dinner last night, I'm now going to be ending this readathon at 4.30. So I have like about five hours left of the readathon. So game plan for the five hours. Also last night I did end up finishing fourth wing and I did end up giving that four and a half stars. I just had such a good time. Like, I know it's not the perfect book, and I think a lot of people who are even liking the book are like, yeah, there are things that could be better, but it's just really fun. I liked the romance. I liked the whole aspect of the dragons, the plot twists and the reveals and all of that. Like, there were definitely certain, like, plot twists and things that happened that I kind of anticipated and kind of expected, but I still just had a good time. Like, I just really enjoyed it, and there were also some shocking moments that I didn't see coming. There were some character deaths that I was not not anticipating and not really ready for. <laughs> and I definitely think at times the writing could be a bit cringy. I feel like that was like my main complaint about this book the whole time, especially like when the romance started, like the romance was great, but at the same time, like there definitely were some cringy moments between them or they were just like cringy like lines that they would say to each other. But honestly, like, I don't know what else to say other than I had fun. 
and it was really just it was great and the dragons love it i love that when like a rider bonds with their dragon and they have that like connection they're able to like communicate through their minds i know like some people are not into that but i thought it was really fun so loved that aspect as well and i love that our main character also deals with chronic pain I think the author as well, I can't remember what she said in the author's note, but she also deals with some sort of chronic pain. And I thought that that was just so great to see in a fantasy novel, see a character who gets called weak by characters all the time just because she needs different things and her body is different than theirs, but is still so capable of being such a powerful dragon rider and doing all of these things. And I just thought that that was so great. But yeah, I don't know. I just, I had a good time and I'm excited to keep going with this series, no matter how many books it is, just because it's so fun. If any of you know how many books there's going to be in the series, please feel free to let me know. I definitely need to do some more research into that. But yeah, I had a good time. Definitely I'm going to need to get myself a physical copy of this book if that's ever possible to happen. I don't even care about the, the ones with like the dragon sprayed edges. Yes, that's very cool. I just want a copy of this book. It's literally sold out everywhere. And I just, I just want one. <laughs> so yes, finished that before I went to sleep. I've been listening to Divine Rivals and I'm actually like pretty far in. I've now read 88% of it and I think I only have like a little bit left. Yeah, I have 40 minutes left to listen to. And that's the speed I'm listening to it on. On the speed I'm listening to it on, I have 40 minutes left. So I think I'm going to pause on that though. I think I'm going to switch to what I'm physically reading and then pick that audiobook back up maybe later on once I kind of want a bit of a break and maybe I can do the friendship bracelet thing. Also there's a cat on the floor and he just scared me because all of a sudden I just saw a blob. Hello. Hello sir. You look sleepy. Me too. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna pause on the audiobook. I feel like the bracelet might take me longer than 40 minutes, so I'll have to start maybe another audiobook while I do that. But for what I'm physically reading and what I think I'm going to read for a little bit is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. I did end up picking this up, finally. <laughs> the bird's got a lot to say. Yeah, this is a book that I've put on my TV. Okay, I gotta shut my window. The birds are distracting me. <laughs> what I was trying to say, this book has been on my TBR for the past like few summers and I just know like my interest in more like fluffier YA contemporary lessons with each year and I'm like, I really want to read something from this author. So this is kind of, I think, my last chance. So I have decided to pick this up. I did get the audiobook, which I think is going to be helpful because these, this book has, so far has really long chapters and I'm like, I think if I didn't have the audiobook, I would kind of struggle to get through this book. Not that it's hard to read. I just, I'm a short chapter gal. <laughs> but this book, you're following this character named Emily and she has this best friend Sloane who one day just like ups and disappears with her family and she has no idea where they are, where they went. And she ends up getting a letter in the mail from Sloan and it's this to-do list and it's all of these things that Emily has to complete over the summer and she thinks like if she completes this list she'll be able to find Sloan and figure out where she is because at the end of the list it says you know you need to do all of these things and then you can tell me all about it so she's like okay I need to complete this list I'll be able to find Sloan so yeah there's just things that she has to complete up this list like dancing until dawn kissing a stranger going skinny dipping things like that I'm not super far in I'm on chapter three which is page 92 so I'm hoping with the audiobook I can maybe get this done by the end of the readathon, but we'll see. But I mean, so far, it's cute. It's fun. I'm having a good time. I don't really have many thoughts. I feel like this is the type of book that's going to be like enjoyable enough, but I don't know if it's necessarily going to stick with me. Like, it's fun. I'm having a good time, but I'm not like absolutely loving it, which is why I'm like, I need to get to these books if I want to read them before I completely lose interest. But so far, it is cute and I'm having a good time and I'm very interested to see what happened with Sloane in the first place. So yeah, finished Fourth Wing, almost done with Divine Rivals, probably will finish it later on when I want to do my little summer craft. <laughs> and then I'll probably start another audiobook, but in the meantime, I'm going to be reading Since You've Been Gone. And I think I'm going to get into this and then later on when I'm in need of a break, we'll go to the friendship bracelet making. I'm very excited about that. I think it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be very nostalgic. <laughs> We have just under an hour left of the readathon. I finished since you've been gone. 
we'll chat about it when the readathon officially ends, but I think the rest of the readathon last hour I'm gonna listen to my audiobook. I might have to start another one and start working on my friendship bracelet anklet thing. That's the plan for the last hour. Let's go. <laughs> So the 24 hour readathon has come to an end. It's actually the next day when I'm filming this, but I wanted to kind of give some final updates on everything I managed to read, give a final page number as well. But also before we get into the like final reading updates, I thought I would show you the bracelet or the anklet so far. I didn't really do that much. I kind of just worked on it the last like hour or so of the readathon and then stopped. I kind of forgot how time consuming this can be, but it is relaxing because it's kind of the same thing over and over again. But I really like it. I feel like some of the colors look like the lighter colors look very similar. So I don't know if this was like the best choice, but I feel like I'm probably going to end up making a few and then maybe just like change them out throughout the summer. But yeah, we'll see how it comes out. I feel like it's not, it's not perfect, but I also haven't done this in probably 10 years at least. So it's been a minute. I don't know. It's a fun, a fun little activity and I can't wait to make a bunch. <laughs> but yes, anyway, the books, the reading updates. So at the end of the 24-hour readathon, I managed to complete a few different things. I read the second half of Fourth Wing, which I ended up giving that four and a half stars. I really enjoyed it. Just had such a good time. Again, not a perfect book. I did like not love the writing all the time like it was sometimes cringy or just a little funky at moments but I also just really had a good time so 4.5 stars and then I also finished reading Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. and I don't think I talked a lot about this just because it was towards the end of the readathon so I wanted to keep reading but I ended up giving this three and a half stars I thought it was really fun really cute a very like light-hearted summer read I am just sad that I didn't read this like when it came out I think that this was released in 2014 I think that's what I saw on Goodreads yesterday Why don't I know how to read? Yes, 2014. <laughs> yeah, so this came out like almost 10 years ago, which is kind of crazy. But I think if I had read this like back then when I was in 2014, I was 15 turning 16, I would have loved this. Like that is the person that this is targeted to at this point. Like it was a lighthearted, fun YA contemporary, but it wasn't really much more than that. I don't think it's going to be something that like I think about a lot going forward, but it was really fun. There was a part of the conflict that I really just didn't enjoy, which I think is why it kind of went down to a three and a half. It was feeling kind of like a four for a while, but I think just that part of it I didn't really like. I thought it was really cute. I really liked the characters, like the friendship. Uh, group that she kind of creates throughout this book. The love interest, Frank, was a little sweetie pie. And I also really liked the whole list thing. She has these different things that she's trying to complete off of this list. And I just love a list in a book. I think that's something that I'm starting to learn that I do really enjoy. And so each chapter being focused on a different thing that she has to complete, I just thought was really, really fun. And yeah, so I enjoyed this. I don't really have many thoughts though. It was just like a fun, silly, goofy time. So I read that. And then I also finished the audiobook for Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. And I've been thinking about it. Like I ended up giving it four and a half stars. But like the fact that that and Fourth Wing are the same rating just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. And I think like, you know, each book in each genre, like it's a different case by case thing, depending on the rating. Like there are some books that I'm like, these are objectively better books, but this is how I feel. And they might have the same rating as a book that I know is not as good, but it's just like based off of my enjoyment. That's why ratings are just so like confusing because everyone has different standards. <laughs> but I think with this case, it's just like I read Divine Rivals and Fourth Wing at the same time pretty much and Divine Rivals I gave 4.5 stars but I think at this point I might just give it a 5 because I don't even know what the half star off would be for that's what it came out to on Cop Pile so I was like okay sure but I also did this like after the 24 hour readathon where I was just there were no thoughts I was just like a blob because that's what happens after 24 hour readathons but I think I might just give it a 5 because I really enjoyed this book I loved the romance I loved the characters there were moments where it was like so overwhelmingly cute and emotional that I had to like pause the audiobook and just like take a lap and like stop for a minute just to like let it process and then keep going. There's a specific part 
in this book that's very cute and it's like a big part of like the romance and maybe if you've read it you know what I'm talking about but yeah I just I loved the characters I loved the romance I loved the whole thing with this war with the gods and the fact that they work at this newspaper and they're also like war correspondents so they start you know writing things about the war and interviewing soldiers and everything like I just thought that that was really interesting this book definitely focuses more on the romance and the characters but I also just really liked the actual plot even if that wasn't as like prioritized as the romance and the characters but I'm a character driven reader so this like really works for my preferences I just had a great time so I gave it four and a half stars but I think I'm just gonna raise it to a five because I really love this and I now need to own a physical copy of it specifically the fairy loot edition have y'all seen the fairy loot edition of this book if any of you have it and you don't want it I will gladly take it off your hands I'm obsessed with it it's my favorite version because there's a few different covers for this book but the fairy loot one is just it's so it's so stunning I just I love it so much so if any of you have it don't want it let a girl know um but yeah absolutely love this so I think I think it's gonna be a five star I I I just really enjoyed it. <laughs> and then in the last hour of this readathon, I did start reading After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is one of her like older backlisted titles. This was pre Evelyn Hugo, which is when like I found out about her as an author. But oh, hello, Sam. <laughs> but this one, you're following this couple who like met in college and then they get married, but they're having all of these problems. They're fighting a lot. So they decide to take like a year off from each other and seeing each other. And the only like rule is that they cannot contact each other in that year. I haven't even gotten that far into the book. Like they haven't even made that deal yet. So I don't have a lot of thoughts. Plus, excuse you Sam. <laughs> I am reading this for a themed vlog so even if I had thoughts you wouldn't be hearing them yet but yeah I'm excited to keep going. I'm interested to read something by Taylor Jenkins Reid that was pre Evelyn Hugo one of her like more romance type books so that's everything that I read and I also tried my best to do math and kind of um, calculate like with the audiobooks that I read how that translated into pages so my math might be a little off but with the two audiobooks that I was reading and the physical and ebook that I was reading I read 974 pages ish <laughs> which I'm really proud of I definitely think that this is one of my best 24 hour readathons I think I've only ever made it to the a thousand page mark or like over that once maybe twice but like definitely once but it's not something like I don't get near that point in a 24 hour readathon very often I feel like I'm normally in the like 500 to 700 page mark so I'm very happy with that I'm very proud of myself and audiobooks are just I think the key they are everything <laughs> but yeah I think that that is going to conclude this 24 hour readathon to celebrate four years on booktube I still can't believe it and thank you all so much for not only just watching this video but just like any video if you're new here if you just subscribed or if you've been watching the whole four years which I'm so sorry <laughs> but I really do appreciate it and the community and the people who comment on my videos and watch and the interactions that we have is such a big part of why I continue to do this I don't think if I had the great people watching and supporting me I don't know if I would continue to do it I mean obviously I'm passionate about books and, and filming and editing and all of that stuff but I think it would be really hard to do all of that without that community and I feel just very lucky to have the people here that I do and I just am so excited to see what the next four years are gonna look like who knows we'll see <laughs> but yeah I just am very lucky and very grateful and I'm so excited to keep on doing this for however long I want to or you will let me or to and tolerate me <laughs> but yes I think that that is going to conclude this 24-hour readathon so thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next one bye <laughs>